Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Archeon in Immortal Empires and these corn boys did not want to wait for our siege so they're coming out and we're doing it as a land battle instead. And I didn't notice last episode but we did unlock Dorgar so no more foot Archeon so we're not gonna see those cool animations anymore but Dorgar is awesome so I'm happy to have him on his steed as well. But let's just jump into it and uh, kill some Cornades. Okay so we have this big pit in the middle of our deployment zone so we kind of have to deploy on one side of it and I think we're just going to go on the left side so we can use this mountain and the pit to make a little bit of a choke well not exactly a choke but at least protect our flanks so we can have a pre pretty secure line and I'm gonna assume they're gonna deploy b uh, close by to this so we're just gonna put our stronger stuff a little bit further to the right and the the marauders are gonna have to deal on the left if they come over there that's fine they're gonna have to prove themselves somehow so that's gonna be all right we'll put you over there we'll put these guys here Archeon can be wherever he can be on this side because like I said they'll probably go over there and uh, it's probably not gonna be a very it's not gonna be a free fight or anything like that because they have a lot of blood letters and they're gonna chunk through our infantry so yeah but we're gonna grab all of our our fast units put them up right there and start moving them forward because I would kind of want to get them behind their army because if we do then we can distract them and be just all kinds of annoying so that's gonna be just fine and everything's gonna be great. So let's move these guys up like so wish. Because yeah, you're not in range. We're gonna have to put you in range. Move up there, and then we're gonna have to move up our guys again. Hmm, I could have sent Archeon and the and the hero with these guys, but I can't no, no, I think we'll we'll stay keep them here so they can uh, so they can do their thing against uh, the enemy lords and stuff. And I kind of want to just see if we can find something to pick off here. But I don't want to use my squishy hounds against blood letters. Oof. They are... They're screening me out. Hmm. Maybe we try to exit here again actually. Because I don't want to... I don't, don't want to get stuck in there. Oh, and these guys... We're getting shot, which is great. Okay. Abandon plan. Abandon plan. <laughs> Just run away. Go around the other side. Because we can... Ooh, this is a very lonely blood letters of corn. So we, we're just gonna do a little bit of sneaky action here. So you can go around that way. You go around that way. Hounds go past. These guys go past. The Stay there. You charge in. Oh, actually, um, oh, this is getting, this is getting uh, a little bit messy, but yeah, these, they're broken instantly, very good. Rotate over there, smack into these blood letters. Okay, actually, just run away, get away from those blood letters. We don't want them to find bl fight blood letters. Get some hounds coming in, but yeah, those are broken. Just get away. That was some good pickings. Now we just need to get out of there. Just die faster, please. <laughs> You're holding up my guys. Oh, my marauder horsemen. Oh, poor guys. They're getting stuck in there. Yes, try to run. But at least we are distracting them. And we're getting some good shots in there, which is great. Ooh, you. Go and smack him. Bring them and this, these guys. Because, yeah, 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 yeah. Oof. <laughs> Smack. That's good. Oh, there's a there's a bunch of guys coming in over here. Let's pile in there. Uh, you need to keep running away a little bit. Just stay away from these guys. You two, go this way instead. That is fine. Let's start shooting over there. And Archeon. Where's Archeon? There's Archeon. Get in there. This is going to be juicy. Let's get that blender going. Oh, don't go into our own. Ow. Okay, stop that. 
Okay, it is going down the line, kind of. So, yeah, that was good. That was good. Okay, I'm not against it. And now we just need a little bit more of that to... To be able to cast some Searing Dooms, which is gonna be nice. Let's go around. You can start firing over there. Because all of these are dying just beautifully. God, I love the giant. Can we get another smack? Beautiful. <laughs> that was such a good get early on. And we're enveloping some there. That's good. Uh, go in and help. Archeol, you got some magic to do. Uh, that's a pretty good magic spot. And I want to see this one. It's gotten so pretty. Like, look at this. Ah, it's so silvery and bright and deadly. It did some great damage. Excellent. So, um, let's grab some hounds, hunt that, hunt that. Hunt those guys down. And we got you. Let's... Okay. The horse lords are gonna go in there and you're gonna just smack in over there. That's fine. Everything... Oh, Okay, you need to back away. You're taking too much damage. I don't want to lose you. That's fine, though. Uh, let's grab these two and send them after this. Salted Hero, go save these guys. Although they are... They are... Um, they're disintegrating, which is great. So that's army losses. Excellent. That wasn't too bad. I mean, we took some damage, but overall... Oh, <laughs> I say that. And um, we finish off by blasting mostly our own stuff, but that's fine. We didn't take too much damage. So I don't think the like hounds and our fast stuff did too much damage, but I still think they did a good job because they did distract a large amount of blood letters and stuff. It's just... It's hard to use them against corn because they're so good against um, infantry sized units. So they're just gonna shred through hounds. Like, hounds are bad against the armor stuff, and these guys are really good against infantry, and blood letters will just rip hounds apart. So these guys aren't very good against corn. But these guys are. Well, they're pretty good at least. And they did some good work against blood letters, but they also have very good AP, so it is dangerous to use them against them. But, I mean, they're fine. They're, they're used in combat, so it's gonna be dangerous. But, um, we might just grab some armor replenishment. Although, we are gonna take this as a Dark Fortress, so maybe we don't need to. I think maybe just grab the... Now, let's just grab the armor replenishment. It's just a thousand gold. We just got ten thousand from that battle, so I think we're fine taking some replenishment. Oh, we have another quest. Okay, I don't think this is the quest they're trying to show us. Um, but we need to take the Tower of Torment. Can do. Ooh, and we got the Sibylian Slaughtercade. The Chaos Chariot. Neat. There's the quest. Armor of Morkar. Well, we'll do that eventually. But first, we have a siege to win. And we can just auto resolve that, no problem. Excellent. And we could subjugate them to get a coronate faction, but I just want all of the all of the dark fortresses because well they make us so much money. Because like just tier ones pay for themselves well, this pay for themselves in five turns and it's just bonkers. It's just so much money. And we get so much money from fighting as well, so Well, I don't know what that has to do with anything, but whatever. Um do we have any gifts? Nah. We do have a lot of these, but I think... Ooh, this is a good one, though. But I think uh, we'll hold off on these until we have a second army, because then we can throw some of these into the other army, and I don't want to disband any of our marauders in exchange for stuff that doesn't matter if they level, because we kind of need to keep leveling our stuff. And unfortunately, we did not get any... Corn, uh, corn marauders. We did not get any horsemen. Because I just want to go down our warband. 
And I wish there was a like side grade here that we can make marauders into marauder horsemen because right now it's kind of hard to get my horsemen. And I want some horsemen because I love horse masters and the the marked horsemen are really cool. I like them a lot and I want to use them, but it doesn't seem like they won't want to give us any, which is kind of annoying. But our vassal is taking care of this, so I'm wondering if do we go south first and take this out before we start any wars against these guys? Or do we go right over here right away, just take it, and then we go south? But I kind of want to go keep going west so we can take some more hair. I mean, we're not going to take all of the Chaos Waste. We're going to go down in Norska eventually, but I mean, a little bit further I feel like is not wrong. I think we're going down south just to clear this up, and then we'll just sweep, and that's fine. But Archeon has a lot of skill points. Ooh, neat. Um, let's finish that off. That's going to be good. And it's only at five now. Right. That is so weak. It is a little bit disappointing how much they nerfed some of these numbers, because five power serve is not a lot. I don't think we're gonna use transmutation of lead too much because we have a lot of a lot of other spells to spend our mana on, so I think we're still gonna grab it, but I'm gonna do it reluctantly because I think it's a little bit boring. But this guy, let's just grab hard to hit, some more deadly blade. Oh, he's got Path to Gloria available as well. Hello. Well this is fun. Ooh, actually. We can barely afford it, and we might, like, run out if we do it. So, I think we're gonna hold off, like, just a turn or two, until we get some more souls, and then we'll do it. And I know they lose levels, but I don't know how many levels they lose, so I don't think it's if we need to do it as fast as possible, or not. But, we'll see. Uh, right, that was the path to glory. Oh, right, we should check. What do you need to do? End your turn in a friendly region with less than 50 control. Less than minus 50 control. Yeah, okay. Lose a battle and survive. Hopefully we won't even get that. And win a battle with two Chaos Knight units in your army. Hmm. Okay. That can be done. Ooh, and right, we get another building here. So, we get extra control and, ooh, more income from buildings. That's gonna be a lot eventually. Especially when we get up to these. So, that's not bad. Could grab some Chaos Sorcerers. Which, um... It's gonna be good for when we take another army. Oh, wait. This doesn't, like, guarantee them. This is just... It just gives local warband capacity. Huh. Okay, well, either way, um, it might favor from all buildings. Oh, this is also favor from all buildings. So, it doesn't matter which one I do. Why does this say favor from all buildings? Well, this is income from all buildings. Because it is favor. So, <laughs> I think they messed up a little bit. Oh, adjacent allied or vassal regions. Huh. So I guess that doesn't matter too much for us then. So let's grab that. That's great. That makes our our, uh, our decision very easy. And you have a lot of marauders. <laughs> you would need some some uh, warband stuff too. Highly devoted. A specific region belonging to Tong is showing great devotion. Such unholy faith can be wielded to further your own ends. Ooh. That's all gains a province development point? I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, but we get some alleg allegiance with Tong and favor from all buildings faction-wide but lower f campaign movement range. I really don't want to take that campaign movement range penalty and I also am very uh, curious to what Vassal gains province development point either. So, I'm just gonna click that and have a look at their stuff. So... Yeah, I don't know what that means. <laughs> hey, we finished some tech. Sweet. Um, this is maximum active gifts, all authority. Huh, all authority? That's not bad. 
But we can also go into some uh, some branding. Although I kind of want corn branding, but Nurgle is good too. It's they become very tanky, but they also become very slow. Could get some fast ones, or yeah, let's just go for for the rusted branding for now. And it's gonna be good. So let's start marching south and just deal with this ourselves. Because I can't trust that they I can't trust that they will do this, but they seem to be on the way actually. So we'll see if they'll even manage to do that. Okay, what do you want? Hey, trade and some payment. Yeah, okay. I'm good with that. So, there is a... Oh, they took it. Sweet. But they do have a... Oh, did you cut? You coward. Okay, so yeah, this is why I don't trust them to do it. But I think we can get there in two. Yeah. Oh, hello. So, I mean, if you want to do something, then bring it. But I don't think you are going to. Ooh, a corn marauder. I want that. So, I guess we get rid of a hound. And uh, eventually, hmm, we are going to have to make other room, but... I want some... I do want to keep hounds, but I kind of want to replace them with marauder horsemen. So I'm still a little bit annoyed that we can't, like, side-grade marauders to horsemen, but oh well. But, um, or, but fortunately, we do have the ability to side-grade them to Chaos Knights eventually. So that's, it'll even itself out, and this guy is ready. So what do we want him as? We can put him as a great weapon, we can put some halberd. Huh, the normal ones do have the most melee defense, which is a little bit uh, surprising. I thought the halberds did, but... I mean, I guess shields are... Shields do make them very tanky. And we are gonna go and fight these guys. Oh, you didn't make it back. Oh, Boris is back. Hello. But it doesn't seem like he's gonna be able to... To reinforce that, so that's good. What does your stuff look like? Oh, not... Oh, there it is. Not very impressive still. So, how about... We... Oh, that's not how you do it. Let's do the great weapons, because we do have a lot of shields. And the great weapons is just... Although, I don't think we're gonna fight that much armor right now, so... I think the normal Chaos Warriors are actually fine. Just because we... Um, we aren't gonna fight a lot of armor. We can always side grade them. And... Uh, what do you need for this? Oh, you only need to be rank 6. Oh, we're almost there for some... Oh, they lose all the rank. That's... Okay. I didn't realize they would do that, but... I mean, I guess it makes sense, but I wish it didn't. <laughs> That's alright. We are gonna go in and kill these bastards. Boris shouldn't reinforce. And we can't auto-resolve it, so let's just fight it. Okay, so let's go on this side because it has a bunch more openings. That gives us uh, a lot of places to attack. So let's just... Uh, one warrior there. Actually, one warrior there. One warrior there and one warrior there. We'll give... Put you there, we'll put you there. We're just gonna... Spread these out a little bit. You can have some more there. And another one there. Good. Oh wait, you're alone now. Um, grab one of those. There we go. So, you're one, you're two, you're three. No, dang it. You're two. <laughs> there we go. And you are four. You can be there, you can be there. Let's put a giant there. We'll put some chaos spawn over there. Name your 
There we go. And oh. And you two are gonna hang right there. The hounds are gonna they're gonna sneak around. Cannon can shoot at whatever it wants because it's a cannon. I can't tell it what to do. Well, I can, but I don't want to. There we go. You're gonna go sneak around. Oh, no, no, no. Go over there. You got better things to do. Actually, never mind. Those are... Oh, those are armored cossars. Never mind. Get over there. Actually, let's just go over there. You guys. You're gonna go over there. These guys are gonna get in there. Actually, you're gonna go in that way. You're gonna go in that way. These guys, minus you two, are gonna go in over there. And, oh, that seems like an opening to me. Okay, never mind. You're gonna go in there, that's fine. Everyone get in there. Armor Cossar. Hmm. Yeah, just go around and take this. You're not that needed in this. And the cannon is shooting happily into whatever. So, get in there. And everything is so slow right now. <laughs> but Archeon is fast. And everyone... Everyone appreciates that. So, get in there. Get in there. We just need to fight that. Very good. They're already broken. We just need to get through the by our blood stuff. So, charge in over there. There's a lot of stuff to fight there. We go like so. Yeah, this is gonna die real quick. Excellent. Get over there. You go and help over there. Ooh, that's... That's a pretty spicy one. Beautiful. Love it. Excellent. And these beautiful little gross ass spawns are cutting people up in half. Very nice. So, these guys are done. Get over there. You go and fight. You go and fight over there. Very good. We grabbed a... A thingy. Uh, stay and fight. There we go. Hard to click on them. Get over there. Everything is dying over there, which is great. You, hound. We do have a guy over there. Those are normal cossars, though. So, let's grab this. Let's spread out over there. You can go and shoot this guy all you want. Because we it's good to get some damage on him, even if you might not yes. be able to kill him. Our time has come. Yes, Lord. So nothing really to do there except go and bash at that. Actually, go right over there. There we go. No. What? What are you Oh. <laughs> They got such so divided sometimes. It's hilarious. Oh, that didn't go as planned. Okay, everyone just push push past this little idiot. You don't need to fight him. You go around. Because these guys are gonna get munched on, on by hounds. There we go, there comes the horsemen and more hounds. Come on, bring in the hounds. There we go. Good doggies. Excellent. Yeah, these aren't gonna last long. Oops. I forgot. I didn't even put away the the uh, UI, so go over there and help. You okay, you're done over there. Just go and smack that. You can go and deal with those, that's fine. Man, they use these barricades well, so gotta give them that. But we are taking this, so these are gonna collapse, which is hilarious. Just please, please die. <laughs> and wait, is this not part of this? It is. There we go. Now it broke. So get in there. 
Uh, let's keep fighting you a little bit. But we should get one of those right there. We can send these back down in there. And there should be arm losses any second now. Because this guy should... Okay, honestly, just go and bite him until he got arm, arm loss as well. Because everything else is going to get arm losses. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting our bosses. So now we just wait for Buyer Blood to run out for 30 seconds. Because... Oh, you're alive too. <laughs> That's alright. They're dead. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. And we can just give this to Vassals, I guess. I wish we would get the souls even if we... Gifted to vassals, but that's okay. We get passively souls from vassals anyway, so that's okay. Uh, uh, strengthen up the tongue. And we still need to... Wait, why aren't you taking attrition? You have zero left. And we can't reach you, unfortunately. But we can go and stand over there because, well, they are going to have to attack something. And hey, more monies. Very good. But now we have a healthy amount of uh, of souls and we only really lose 25 per turn. So I think we can give you your path to glory. And I like to do it for corn, Because Nurgle is very slow. Although we do keep him around in our front lines mostly. So... Yeah, I assume they do about the same thing. Yeah. So maybe we do corn, but we want him to hunt hunt lords basically with Archeon. So yeah, let's let's go corn. I like to go corn. My is and sword. they seem to lose four levels. Because he was level ten. Because it would feel a little bit arbitrary to put him at six for no reason. And I have only gotten Arcane items. <laughs> well, that is really annoying. Okay, fine. Um, wish I had some stuff to give you. Oh, we have to redo these. Well, I did like the replenishment and experience. Let's give him some defense because he is very squishy. But 130 armor is very nice. And Archeon. Arcane conduit. Is fine. It's not as good as it used to be, but it's still fine. Hey, we finished this. Excellent. So, yeah, let's just go with the corruption, which is fine. And see if Boris attacks us. Okay, so this is some bullshit. Because he just... He was just allowed to walk in there and take it without me doing anything. So, that's dumb. But I'm just going to auto-resolve this because it's going to be the same battle once again. So hopefully not too much damage. Yeah, that's fine. It's not a big deal. So let's give it to the vessels again. That's fine. And we're we're going to get plenty of replenishment. Ooh, do we have any? We do have another Marauder of Corn and no Horsemen. God dang it. But, hmm... I don't want to get rid of any of these because, well, they, they're they so close to being Chaos Warriors. And I don't want to get rid of any more Hounds because the Hounds are really good to have. So I'm just going to um, hold off, I guess. And... Yeah, yeah, we can just go over there. Actually, we can just march over this little river of lava for now. Because we're going over there. But... Boris is completely dead, which is great. Oh, right. More skill points. I do like the vigor loss, but is it is it substantial enough? Like, does that do anything? Minus 50%. Is that even noticeable? Not sure it is. Oh, we can go down his special tree now, though. So, let's do that. You need experience gain. That is... Everything we're about, basically. Oh, we've probably been able to do that for a while now. But his casting is basically done now, so that's good. Corn Authority. Ward save and spell resistance for hero army. And Hellblade. Ooh. Hellblade is sweet, though. 
We just need to get that kills going. I mean, I think spell resistance might be better. But I kind of really want Hellblade. So we're gonna give him Hellblade. That's fine. It's more fun that way. I've decided. There we go. Level 3. Excellent. Oh, and we have to put that back on. That's fine. And is there dwarves attacking us? Yep, there they go. But that's fine. They'll probably just fight our vassals a bunch. And they're already at war with the uh, trog and stuff. So I'm not too worried about the dwarves. Hey, we got some Nurgle stuff. So, we can go down there if you want, but I kind of just want to get to the other ones of these. Because uh, I want to mark my stuff. Or we could just go all <laughs> all undivided. Ooh, Gore Feast. What gets Gore Feast? Kills Warhounds and Feral Manticores. Hmm, okay. Well, it's good if we plan on getting any of those. We might. And yeah. So either we go to the sides and that will allow us to just go up. Gorby's Chariots, Doom Knights and Skull Crushers. Ooh. I am gonna want Skull Crushers eventually. Probably Doom Knights too. So... Hmm. But I do like the diplomatic relations. Ooh, spawn unit cause chaos. Oh, it <laughs> cause terror. That's also nice. You know what? Um, let's go over there. We're gonna want some skull crushers eventually, so let's just do it. It's fine. We're gonna keep moving. We're gonna. Yeah, we can make it there in two turns, no problem. And we're gonna lose our replenishment here, but this is gonna be unguarded. It doesn't have much stuff. I think we're fine. Yeah. Ooh, and I almost forgot. We, well, I uh, didn't do any. I didn't get my hero here because we did unlock the the casters. So, kind of want to do that. So we got shadows, fire, blah blah blah. Meh. Eh. We already have fire with uh, Archeon, so I don't want fire. Kind of have <laughs> metal with Archeon as well, so I guess we go with shadows. And I don't care about flaming attacks and fire resistance really, so let's go Unearthly Reflexes. The Miller Defense is nice to have on, the, on a Sorcerer just to make him a little bit tanky, and speed is always nice. So, you get War Shrine at 14, but you can also get Slanesh, because I do want the Slanesh War Shrine, which is awesome. So, you're just gonna get to rank 5. Are you and then to 14, which is going to be great. But you're going to start moseying over there, because I think we're going to get a new army once we take this whole area. But for now, we're going to take that. We're going to awaken another tribe, and then we're going to go up there. Oh, there they are. But yeah, we cannot resolve that, no problem. We are going to... Wait, the tongue? What? No! I don't want a tongue to have it, I want a new one. Ah, crap. We should have done this in a different order, order then. Ah, fine. Gift it to the tongue. In that case, I should have gone north, taken this, and then go do gone down here and uh, vassalized them. But, oh well. I didn't check this. I should have realized. But, yeah, that's... I guess this is just tongue. And yeah, you're not very threatening. That's a lot of Chaos Furies though, but we're mostly melee stuff, so I'm not too worried. So, what do we have here? Upkeep for Chaos Warriors. That's not too bad. Warband upgrades for undivided units isn't bad. So, Chosen stuff, Chaos Knight stuff. Hero capacity for Exalted Heroes. Ooh. 
And we get dem demonic. Ooh, I didn't realize Archeon could be demonic. That's cool. But let's go with the Warriors, or Chaos Warriors, because that's what we have the most of. So, and, oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Right, it was rank six, not five. But we can almost make these to Chaos Knights of Corn, which is gonna be awesome. Oh, right, we can mark these with Nurgle. Nurgle is a very slow horse. Actually, not that slow. But we don't care too much about melee defense. We mostly just want damage. So I kind of rather have Mark of K or Mark of uh, Corn on Horsemen. Or Slanesh. They get Devastating Flanker, which is pretty nice. And they get faster. All but Warfire. Hmm. Ooh, actually. Oh, Marauders of Zinch. Ooh, there's an aspiring champion. Oh, hello. We should probably get that. There's a lot of fun stuff in here. And we get a horseman. So, I'm gonna uh, get rid of you for a horseman. Because I think that's fair. And we're gonna have to get a aspiring champion, right? Because, I mean, they're not insane in the beginning. But with all of these are giving aspiring champions stuff. So they're just going to be insane. So we are probably going to want a aspiring champion. But I don't want to get rid of the last hound either. So hmm. What do we change for an aspiring champion? You know what, since we are getting another lord here, we're just gonna keep this be, because uh, there's no rush really. So we're gonna grab that, like, next turnish, Two turns. And then we're getting another lord, and these aren't, these aren't going anywhere. So we're gonna wait for that. I think that's good. Oh, what's up, Throg? He wants a non-aggression pact. I'm okay with that. I want to be on on good terms with him because we're probably gonna ally and we're gonna go down hand in hand and beat up humans. So yeah. The eye opens. Your action have drawn attention to the chaos gods. Though they are fickle, you can perhaps direct their attention to a particular area. However, there's always a price to be paid. So, Marauders amass, which lets us local warband recruitment 100% replenishment chance for undivided Marauders. Well, it's un undivided Marauders. I want to mix and match, I want to get a little bit of everything. But uh, melee attack for Marauders and casual replenishment is really nice. Marks of Glory. Path to Glory levels 25% uh, levels, oh, of levels kept when devoting a character to a god. Well, that's a little bit late. And it's cheaper, so still <laughs> a little bit late. Call to murder. Recru Ooh, cheaper recruitment cost. That can save us a lot of money, considering we're about to get another lord. Yeah, so... This is going to be very good, but I don't need it. So I think I'd rather just do the cheaper recruitment, because, well, we're going to get a lot of, a lot of recruitment just very soon. So, yeah, my fortresses is fine. And I realized um, we can just ignore this guy because he's going to help us with uh, something that we really want. That he's going to take this and that's going to be great because then we can take it again and vassalize them. Because since we're going to take this and it's Tong, stupid Tong, is, uh, his Tong doesn't need it. So we're just going to go up there and he's going to run away. Definitely. Yeah, so we're just gonna go and take this next turn. We're gonna take the, or keep it as a fortress, and then, uh, and then hopefully go down and vassalize these guys. And then I think we're going down to, to Norska and just taking some of these dark fortresses as well. Just sweep over here. I don't know where they all are, but this one is. 
one of them at least, and it's close by, so that's gonna be great. And we have some new of these as well. Well, this... Uh, the faction leader grants 25% of experience is pretty nice, considering we're about to get another lord. And we got allegiance points and tribute from vassals. I don't think the tribute is very big, so I don't think that matters. Horrifying presence. Attribute. Oh, undivided units cost fair, which is bad. Unit experience, 25% though, is pretty nice. Wanna get that that progression going but for now i think we're gonna keep this because this is nice to have during a siege and well we already get a bunch of experience for marauders which is great and we have skill points just melee attack is never bad and what do daniel wants oh non-aggression i'm fine with that same reason with throg Authority, authority questioned. Unruly vassals has risen to the question uh, to question your might. You should put a, on a demonstration of strength or challenge them directly. So control or leadership or just tribute from vassal. Again, I don't think our tribute is very big, so control is nice, leadership is nice. The the vassal tribute is yeah 280, so we would get like 40 gold from it. So they took this back. I hope you just leave. Um, can I just tell you to leave? Yeah, I can, but... Um, go and defend that. Um, defend target. Please defend that. Okay. Hey, we don't have trade with you. Why can't I tell you to go and defend? <laughs> Fine, just... Go and attack there instead. Although, I hope you don't actually manage that, but you shouldn't be able to. You just have a bunch of marauders. So, let's go and siege this. And next episode, we are... Well, I guess we aren't going to fight this. We're just going to auto-resolve this. So, we're going to auto-resolve this. And next episode, we're going to recruit another army. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.